wonderful people welcome back to the video oh it was horrible weather in portugal so we decided to drive 331 kilometers all the way into the north of spain and try and find some more beautiful weather We had a lot of rain along the way and the scenery was stunning until we found blue skies, you guys, blue skies. So we drove for about four hours. My legs are really sore. I'm not really the kind of person that likes to drive very long, long how do you say that? Long pieces at once. I do have, what's it called? The little handle, cruise control, <laughs> but I don't use it. It's not adaptive cruise control. So if, if anybody just goes in front of me, it looks like I'm driving straight into them. So it scares me. I need to start using that some more because it'll make my legs and my hips be a little bit more comfortable while we're driving. Uh, we arrived at a beautiful spot right at the ocean. I can see the ocean from my window. It's so beautiful. And um, yeah, it's gorgeous here. And we're going to go for a little walk. We already did a little walk because the dogs needed to go out because they were in the van for so long. I'm really happy we went here because the weather's way better. We were in um, the north of Portugal in Chaves and it was raining nonstop for three days. We went, we came the day that we went to Terra Rustica, we went to the Continente parking spot, yeah. And then we stayed there, we had a quiet night, and then we went to the little parking spot because I was just staying there to see, looking around like, where should I go? Should I go to the south of spain maybe again but like my budget is running low we're getting like on our way back to netherlands so but i was thinking like i'm not going to be having four weeks or five weeks of rain going home i'm not going to do that so um yeah we decided we checked the weather really really thorough and we decided to go up into north of spain after all i did skip a little bit because i was planning on going like to the left like the northwest of spain i wanted to go there like santiago de compostela but the weather is so horrible i'll just do that another time there will probably hopefully be plenty of opportunities in my lifetime to go that to go over there so now we arrived in san quibrao i think what it's called and we had a little walk already but let's go explore some more and i'll take you guys along <music> I remember our last day 
at Praia da Felicia how I said oh I'm gonna miss the ocean and now this is a whole different ocean this is the Golf van Biscaya I don't know what the what the I'll look it up what it's called in English but so this is a whole different sea than we had on the other side but I love it the waves the beauty it's just ah. but we are getting rain guys <laughs> so we're gonna head back but oh is this stunning So today we left Portugal guys we left Portugal we spent three months in Portugal because when I went into Portugal I looked up how long I'm allowed to stay there and I think I'm only allowed to stay there three months so it was all coincidence that I left at three months but that's good because I'm not allowed to stay any longer what an awesome journey it has been oh Portugal so beautiful I had so much fun there I spent six weeks at Sydney's place and we did so many things. There were so many dogs there, you guys. If you ever want to adopt a dog, go find the animal association in Portugal because there's dogs everywhere. If you go to markets, you can just get a puppy. People are there handing out puppies that they no longer want. <laughs> there's just so many dogs in Portugal. So uh, we had so much fun there. It's so beautiful there. And every year I'm thinking like, Oh, I'll just, I'm not doing that this time, but I'll save that for next time because I'm 100% I'm sure we're going to be back there a couple of times. It was, I love it there so much, so much fun. And I really love Portugal. Um, so yeah, but now we're back in Spain and uh, what's going to happen is that we are going to have two time shifts, which is going to blow my freaking mind because we went from Spain to Portugal and there's an hour time difference. So now it is one hour later and uh, uh in two days two nights i think or one night in two nights the clock is going forward again because of time uh of because of uh daylight savings time so i'm gonna be two hours off with the time that i'm used to now so yeah <laughs> no fun but yeah that's my life <laughs> that's the downfall of traveling in spring you're gonna get all the time traveling i'm just a time traveler you guys I'm just a time traveler <laughs> So yeah, we're back in the van. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit. And I'm so happy. 
Wolfie was on the beach. She was running around because she had been cooped up in the van for three days because it had just non-stop been raining. The only time we went for a little walk was it when we were in Tenerustica. We could go for a little walk. Then it started raining and it never stopped. I've never had that much rain. Even in the Netherlands, it usually doesn't rain like 24-7. It just didn't stop. It was horrible. But yeah. I'm so happy that it's no longer raining and that we can go outside. It, it is, there are some rain showers, but not as much. So we're doing good. what everyone I have been in contact with people at home because I am now on my way back to the Netherlands and what happens every time when I travel back is that I feel like I'm in a rush I feel like okay we're on our way back we need to get home but that's not the case we still have some money there's not a lot of money left but there's still some money and um, I had said that I was going to be back around half of May, but now I'm thinking maybe I'm going to be back sooner. But the thing is, it's almost my birthday. My birthday is going to be in like a week and a half. And I'm going to be spending it alone. So my parents said, yeah, we're going to come visit you. But it was horrible getting to the north of Spain. So they're not going to visit me here. But now I'm thinking like, what if I'll be in France by the 8th of April? By the time you're seeing this, by the way, I vlog in advance, like two weeks in advance, so that if anything happens or I don't feel like vlogging, that there's space for me to do so, um, which gives me a little bit of, um, it takes the pressure off of vlogging. Know that the videos are set to go out, so I know that your content is, is scheduled and everything's okay, and if I get tired or if I just want to hang out or if it's raining and I don't want to do anything, that's okay, I can do that because I'm vlogging ahead, so there's space for that, just so you know. So by the time you're watching this, it's probably already be my birthday. My birthday is the 8th of April, you guys. It's the day we can ever... How do you say that? It's a day you're never supposed to forget. The 8th of April. And then two days later, it's Wolfie's birthday. And she's going to be one. And it's the 10th of April. And she's a just sweet little girl. I love her so much. She's so... Just want to grab her face and kiss it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what I was saying is that if I get closer to the Netherlands by the 8th of April, maybe, I don't know, then uh, I might be able to hang out with my parents somewhere. And otherwise, it'll just be my, my birthday will just be, <laughs> I'll just have to, I'll just have to make my own party this year, but I don't know. We'll see about that. But uh, yeah, it will be fun. I thought of going to uh, Euro Disney, so like Disneyland in Europe, in uh, uh, Paris. But the dogs are not allowed in there and there's no campsites close to it. So that would mean like the dogs would be in the van for 12 hours and then that's a little bit much. And then there is some sort of doggy daycare stuff that you uh, would be able to use. But I don't think my dogs will enjoy that. And you cannot reserve that. So you just have to go there. And then if there's a spot, there's a spot. But if there's not, then you're just screwed. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. But... Um, it would be fun spending my uh, birthday in uh, Euro Disney. I would love that. I would go crazy for that. But uh, yeah, so I don't know what I'll be doing with my birthday, you guys. I don't know yet. But I would be having so much fun if I would go to Euro Disney, though. Anyway, that's too far away still. <laughs> I don't want to... I also just I kind of live by the day. But okay, I did have contact with the people at home where I work as a nanny. And she's very happy to receive me back. So uh, yeah, we might be heading back around the third week of April. I don't know. We'll see. But I am thinking of the way home. And then when I get back to the Netherlands, I think I'm going to go back to vlogging once a week or maybe twice. But I can't be keeping up with three times a week. I think that's too much. I wouldn't even know what to do. Maybe I would. But <laughs> I don't think. I think it's a lot of work. If you're working with kids and then you need to make content on the side. Yeah, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be a hassle. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. That, uh, yeah, we're on our way back. And I'm trying to stay in the moment. So I'm trying to, like, relax and enjoy the spot that we're at now. And then hopefully find another spot and relax and find, uh, enjoy that spot. But for now, I'm just like, okay. Like, I need to drive an hour and a half every day. 
<laughs> I don't know. I feel rushed, which is so weird because I'm not at all, I'm not in any rush. It just feels rushed. Like I need to be home tomorrow, which I don't. It's so crazy. I had this last year, only last year I had to go back because I was out of money and um, that freaked me out. And I felt like I couldn't do anything and like I couldn't spend any money. I couldn't buy any stuff. And, and like, oh, if only I'm going to make it home in time. And I was, it actually last year, it kind of bummed me out. It made me very upset. It got me really angry. And I was driving lots of long stretches and it got me so tired. And uh, yeah. And then I, <laughs> I got in the Netherlands and it was horrible weather. Horrible, rainy, windy, stormy. And I was like, <laughs> so upset about that yeah but now I'm doing good I'm still happy I just feel rushed I feel rushed you guys I feel rushed well <laughs> let's take the dogs for another walk and then it's night so we can hang out in the van <laughs> Thank you.